What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Zahid and I did a thing. I'm currently on this Mugen train and I just can't stop. You guys might recognize this right here. This is my beloved Mugen MSZ Recaro Semi Bucket Seat. I'm absolutely in love with these seats. They're awesome in every way. I was able to get them to fit in my S2000 and they fit me perfectly and they're actually up for sale. By the time this video goes live, they might already be sold. So say goodbye to my Mugen semi-bucket seats and say hello to my Mugen MSR full bucket seats. Let's fucking go. How freaking sick is, look how light this is, dude. This doesn't weigh anything. I can just like freaking, I can just, throw them away if I wanted to. These things are freaking awesome. They fit me perfectly. And I had a realization. I, I drove in the semi buckets for a while as much as I absolutely love them. They are the best, I think, street car seats you could put in a, in a Honda period. But in the long run, I wanna be able to turn my Mugen-ish S2000 into a little bit more of a serious track car. Not like a full on track car, but I want it to be a good balance in between the world of street and track. So we're gonna try to get these in the car today. I've never done a bucket seat install. I've never done a side mount seat rail before. So these are all gonna be new for me. How hard could it be though, you know? Fast forward to like me six hours later with like tears running down my face, my hands bleeding. Can't be that bad, it's just a seat, right? It's just a seat. Okay, so just like the MSZ, we have the little stylings on the sides here on the bolsters. We have the classic Mugen logo up top, the Recaro logo right there in the middle. You know, clearly a full bucket. This is actually based off of the Recaro RSG, I believe. So it's the same shell. Fun fact, if you bought the first generation of these seats, this shell was actually carbon fiber. I looked it up recently and if you could find a pair of those seats, they're going for like $15,000, which is ludicrous. That is insane. Of course, we have some Recaro side mountain rails to go with it. I know a bunch of people are gonna hit me up asking for the part number. I'm too lazy, I don't even wanna look right now. You know what, if I see it somewhere here, I'll put it up on screen. Don't say I didn't tell you, that is it right there. Okay, so if you comment on this video and you ask for it, that means that you didn't actually watch the video. While I figure out how to get these seats in the car, let's talk about why you might want a bucket seat for your S2000. For starters, and most obviously, they hold you in place much better than standard seats. You may not notice how much you move around while cruising in the canyons, but take your car to the track and I'm sure you'll find yourself bracing the hell out of your dead pedal trying not to get tossed around while going through corners. Having a consistent seating position means being less distracted, which allows you to focus on getting faster. The next benefit is weight savings. A stock S2000 seat weighs about 28 pounds, while these Recaro buckets are only 14, literally half the weight. Between the two seats, that's almost 30 pounds in weight savings. Then you have your safety benefits. Now, I'm not the tallest guy, but my head did come pretty close to the stock roll hoops with the semi buckets. In the event of a rollover, that could be pretty sketchy. The bucket seats drop my seating position by a few inches, giving me that extra wiggle room. Bucket seats generally are less bulky than standard seats, which gives you more options for running a roll bar or a racing harness in the future. And lastly, I gotta say, they look badass. I'm a believer in function over fashion, but you have to admit, these seats function well and they look even better. All right, a moment of truth. Oh my God, holy crap. Wow, I, I don't know, man. I don't know why I didn't expect it to be like that big of a drop. This is so wild. Wow night and day difference. I'm sitting so much lower. Wow, this is crazy. It's a huge difference. This is pretty nice, but you know what? I can't gain any more weight, so I gotta start getting back on that workout content, keep myself accountable. 
it is bright and early and you guys can talk all the crap you want about the SF Bay area, but man, there's no place like home. It is freaking beautiful out. Oh, also Mark's here, by the way. Hey, babe. We're having a nice little romantic moment. And check this out. Mark got a new freaking car, an ISF. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? This guy. So expect some ISF content on the channel. Coilovers, TE37s, Tom's kit, Tom's exhaust. Okay, let's check out these seats real quick. They're about as nice as you can imagine. <laughs> For Caro RSGs, these things completely transform the feeling of driving this car. I was telling Mark earlier, if I could do it all over again, I would probably do coilovers first and a bucket seat second. All right, I feel like I'm getting a little better at getting in and out of this thing. All right, we're gonna take you guys on a little bit of a scenic route. And we're gonna have Mark lead in his new to him Lexus ISF. That thing is so freaking nice. Man, the interior of that car is so much nicer than I expected. It's like a lot less frills. It's actually pretty, pretty bare bones, but in like a good way. Man, days like today, I absolutely love this city. And you can't convince me otherwise. I know, I know, okay? I know we have a homeless problem. I know it's way too expensive. I know it's not the cleanest anymore. I don't care. It's still my city. Technically, we're in Mill Valley right now. <laughs> but you can see San Francisco, and that's what I'm talking about. Damn, look at this guy running downhill. I feel bad for his knees. But yeah, these seats are phenomenal. I really, truly feel way more connected to the car. I know it sounds stupid, but the car feels faster. <laughs> I know it doesn't make any sense, but I just feel like I'm just sucked into this car right now. I feel like my S2000 is hugging me. And it feels great. I'm not swaying around at all. I feel so much more confident. That being said, we are on public roads and I'm not gonna be an asshole. <laughs> and there's a lot of cyclists. There's a lot of cyclists on the road right now. And I really take that to heart because uh, one of my good friends recently passed away um, due to uh, an accident. He got, he got hit by a car while he was cycling yeah, if it wasn't for my buddy Lester Lagarda, I don't know if I would have kept skating and I don't know if I'd be where I am, where I'm at today. So shout out to you and watch out for cyclists. Share the road. That goes for cyclists and motorcyclists. <laughs> I used to ride motorcycles too. Okay, sorry for the spiel, but it had to be said. I love these seats. I love this car even more. Every time I do something to my S2000, I just feel like it gets a little bit better. There are, there have been some, some mods that I'm probably gonna reverse. The short shifter for one. I think I'm gonna go back to the OEM intake for, other, for another one. But just in general, these driver mods are the best. Hope you guys enjoy the view. 